and you don't need to have your drawing supplies here at the beginning, but if you do have them and you want to draw while we're talking, that's okay too. So today we are talking about cave paintings and cave drawings. Um, has anybody ever heard of those before? And if you do, what have you heard about them? What would you say? It just sounds interesting, but you haven't heard of it before today. Okay, perfect. I That's saw perfect. one, but I don't know about them. Yeah, exactly. That's a really, really good statement to make. So you see them, but you don't really know much about them. Um, so same. Yeah, same thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So cave paintings and cave drawings um, are, are is artwork that people made a really long time ago. And if you think about it, right now when we draw and we make pictures or paintings, we use maybe a canvas or we use paper. But a long time ago, people didn't have those options. They didn't have canvas or paper, so they'd have to do it on rocks or maybe on the inside of a cave, on the wall of a cave. Yes, Molly? What? Um, like for sometimes like for um, what we have for canvases is we have like a little um, piece of wood that shapes like a little canvas. Perfect, yeah. So that kind of um, resourcefulness, right? Like using what you have available, what these people were doing. They had to use the inside of a cave or they had to use a rock or something like that so that they could make their paintings. So I wanna show you, I'm just gonna show you a couple. I just think they're really interesting because we can look at artwork that's really, really old before any of us were born. And it's kind of cool to see. So I'm gonna show you guys by sharing my um, screen for a minute. Oh. And we can look at some. Okay, so just one minute, let me, whoops, hang on, it's not going to go right to it. I'm going to see my email just for a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> just come in here, let me move this down, and it's over here. There. Okay. So, you, uh, well, I only can see you, not us. We only can see you. Oh, that's okay. Can you see, sometimes when I share the screen, you can't see everybody just for a second, but it's only while I share the screen. And then whenever I stop sharing my screen. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's so this, good. Yeah, so this is on the inside of a cave. Guess how long ago somebody put this on the inside of a cave? How old do you think that drawing might be? That's like super, old. super, super duper old. Super old? Yeah. Now that's it's Yes. Oh, like a million years. You think? It says it was between 8,000 and 4,000 years ago. Somebody Whoa. Out of the cave. Whoa. Isn't that amazing? I've kind of seen this stuff before, like these little drawings um, from a show that I used to watch. I don't watch it anymore. Oh, yeah? What show is it? Do you remember? Um... I don't really remember what it's called. That's okay. Um, yeah, these are super, super interesting. They're so old. And these are drawings and paintings people made. A lot of times you can see something maybe about their life. So if you look um, onto the drawings, it looks like somebody there maybe has an uh, arrow. Maybe they have an arrow. It looks like there's animals. So maybe they're showing that they're hunting for food. All right, so you can kind of like, see. Like animals and like dogs or stuff. What was that? Are they like killing animals? I don't think so. I think actually they might, we don't really know because we weren't there, but maybe they have animals that are all around them because since they were, it was a long time ago, they wouldn't have had big houses and cities and things like that. So they probably were living amongst the animals, right? Cool. Yeah, so they probably had a lot of animals. That yeah. looks very old. Very that old. That is You're super, right. super old. Super old. Yeah, let's right. See. Let's try another one. This one I think is really interesting. Ooh, it's that's good. Interesting. So it looks like if you read it, it kind of looks like they s spray painted in someone's hand and then stuck it on. Right, exactly. Let me just make sure. I want to make sure I have everybody. Okay, good. 
I need to scroll back. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, um, we're not in your screen anymore. That's okay. I actually went out just for a second because I wanted to make sure there we go. someone coming in. So I just wanted to make sure. Um, oh, okay. So this is super interesting because they have their hands like a stencil, right? On the cake. Mm -hmm. And then if you read about it, it says... The stenciled outlines, a lot of them are the, um, their left hand that's up there. So it looks like they had some kind of a pipe and they sprayed some dye through the pipe over their hand and it made that cool picture. And it looks like they did it a lot of times, huh? Look at all those hands up there. There's so many. I wonder how they got like all the way to the top of the cave. And yeah, the I don't know. That's all the stuff that's really interesting to think about um, with how they did it and how they were um, able to get up into that position, how they were able to create the different colors. Yeah. Um, if you look at all the different colors, they probably had maybe a mixture of berries or, you know, maybe they had some kind of different dyes they were using from different plants or mud or something like that. Hey, Sully. So Sully, we are talking about cave drawings here, cave paintings, and we're looking at some cave paintings together. So this one we're looking at right here, Sully, it's all these hands and it looks like all of these hands were done like a stencil. Let's get Wesley in here too. Make sure Wesley can see. All right, he'll probably be in here soon. So, um, so Sully, it looks like somebody had all their hands up on, or there's some group of people put all their hands on this cave. And if you read about it, it says that somebody had to take a pipe with dye in it and they had to blow it like that and they blew it over their hand and it made that cool design we're talking about these. we're gonna i haven't told us how old these are yet but i'm gonna tell you in one second how old these are uh birdie yes did i have your hand up or you good no oh, okay i'm sorry thought i saw your hand up um so these cave drawings and cave paintings are super super before any of us were born, somebody went in these caves and made these. Does anybody want to guess how old this one might be? What do you think, Sully? 70 million years old. Ooh, that's pretty old. What about Wesley? Let's get your guess. Uh, I get to have a question. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Is was this the first picture? Is I'm sorry, what? Well, is this the first picture? This is the second picture, and you know what? I know you and Sully just got here, so we'll go back and look at the first one for a second too. Okay? Uh, I think it's like one hundred years old. A hundred. Okay, good guess. Let's take uh, Francesca. I think it's 50,000 years old. Ooh, 50,000. Let's get Molly. 2,000 years old. Okay, thank you, Molly. And Birdie. 200 years old. 200, okay, let's take a look. Looks like this one is between 13,000 and 9,000 years old. They can't tell exactly, but they can get an idea somewhere in there. So this is really, really old, huh? When you look at that, yeah. look how well they did with their dyes. And um, also for you guys who are just coming in too, we were thinking about when they get the different colors, what kind of dyes they're using because they didn't have paint to use like we have. So maybe they use berries. You guys have ever eaten especially frozen blueberries and your fingers get all blue and purple? That would be a really good dye to use, right? Because that's really hard to get out of your fingers. So it's probably a pretty good kind of um, a substance to use for paint, something to use if you want to paint something. So pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys too, for those of you who weren't here yet, this first one, this is the first one we looked at. And this is more little drawings, little sketches that somebody made inside of a cave. You can see the animals that they probably were living with or living around at that time. 
And also I want to tell you guys too, I'm going to look at a few more of these. If you want to be drawing, if you want to be working on something, it can be what you're seeing here. If you want to draw something you see here, or if you want to work on your own drawing that you're working on um, something else that you feel like drawing today, that's okay too. All right. It's okay. If you don't want to just sit and watch, if you want to be drawing, that's also totally fine with me. All right. So we went through the hands. Now this one I feel like is kind of cool because we can see that they're riding horses. If you look closely at the drawing, you can see that somebody is riding a horse and you can kind of see something on their head, right? Something mm -hmm. on their head. So it looks like maybe they had some kind of headdress or feathers or maybe a helmet on too. Or maybe My sister loves riding horses. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, I think, I think it's I think that bean is like armored to protect his like head. Yeah, that very well. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking also. I think so too. Yeah, it's kind of cool because we can look and say, hmm, we can kind of start to piece together what their um, daily life was looking like. It looks like that one horse kind of has like maybe like a robe or something on. So maybe when they're riding their horses, they had some really cool blanket or robe coming off the horse. So you can see a lot of information about what they were doing every day. And this one, I'll go ahead and just tell you, this one is 12,000 years old. Wow. I think it's, I was gonna ask 600 years old. You were gonna think 600? Yeah, even older than that. 600 years old. Yeah, 600 years is a really long time, long before we were born, but this is way older even than that. Can't believe it. <laughs> um, let's see. So this one's kind of interesting. This one is actually from Brazil. Brazil is in South America, and it looks oh. like the um, dye looks really red, doesn't it? Whatever they were using. Yeah, I, I think you, my grandma lives in Brazil. Oh yeah, nice. Nice. She might, she might sell it on book ever though maybe. You what? What was that? My grandma lives in Brazil, so she might, she might have a book who has a picture on it. Because she's from Brazil. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, you can bring picture for sure. Yeah, nice. Um, that's um, lovely that your grandma lives in Brazil. Wait, how old is it? So this one is twenty five thousand years old. Whoa, that's even Whoa. That's super so many old. Like a <laughs> that's old. Super old. You're right. All right, let's see what else? So this one I like too because this is from a different place. So this one is from Africa. And no. it looks like when you look at it, the style is a little different, right? This is mm -hmm. a different culture, different people. And so the styles, the style's a little different, and it looks again like these animals might have some kind of robe or some kind of almost like they have clothes on. You can see those different colors. It's kind of hard to see exactly where everything's at, but it looks like the style's a little bit different. These ones are from Africa, and um, these ones are estimated to be between 11,000 and 5,000 years old. Oh. And they have really strong colors, really interesting colors. Mm -hmm. And this one I love, because you can tell what kind of animal it is. What kind of animal do you think that is? Giraffe. You're right. I can tell why, because it's a giraffe, because it has like a long neck and it kind of has like the shape of the legs of a giraffe. Right, absolutely. And there's even some pattern in there, right? The dots, you can kind of see. I can tell there's a camel. There's a camel. Oh, yeah, you're right. Over in the corner. Oh, there's even a strong guy with big old arms. Right? I was wondering what that is. It does look like a strong guy with big arms. You're right. <laughs> sure. He looks like, like a giant jumping off a stick. It looks like a guy jumping off a stick. 
it does look like somebody's jumping off the steps. You're right. <laughs> I think he's like, I think he's like a slime guy. So like, <laughs> he like, kind of looks like um <laughs> someone standing on the camel. Yeah, right there. You're right. You're right. That is kind yeah, of. Yeah, kind of looks like a slime guy. <laughs> With like no it. head. I can't see any head. Yeah, some of them, it's a little bit hard to see. Some of the proportions cool. maybe look a little funny, huh? <laughs> so we got lots of wild animals in these here. These are from the same. How old is it? So this one, let's see. So the no, this one, known the area is known for rock paintings dating from 12,000 to 1,000 AD. So that means right now we're in the year 2020. So 2,000 years. 2020 means 2020. Um, and then if we think even beyond that, another 12,000 years. So BC means it'd be another 12,000 years plus 2,000. That would be 14,000 years old. That's that is super old, huh? very old. <laughs> very, very, very old. Very old. Um, so these Ooh, I think are interesting. Yeah. Ooh. These are in France. It, it kind of looks like a jaguar and a bear. Right? So, yeah. So, I think um, yeah. in France, it's interesting because these are really old, but they're actually really uh, detailed. You can see that it looks like a bear, right? The face looks like a bear. Yeah. 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 Bear. Like, like the front part kind of looks like a bear. Totally. Yeah. Um, uh, it's so it's interesting uh, that is, but in, in France, it, a lot of the, the, the drawings. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. So these, we don't know exactly, but they think this could be up to 32,000 years old. That's wow. more, way, way older than the one we looked at. And it's interesting because it's a pretty good drawing, huh? We can tell what it is pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Right, and remember, you guys can uh, draw or uh, work on your work on your um, people too, if you'd like. While we finish Whoa. up a couple more. That one looks cool. Yeah, I like the little pieces of rocks above it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even. The guy know who's jumping, that. the white guy, kind of looks like he's a frog man. Yeah. <laughs> So this one, this is called Aboriginal art. So the, the um, kind of like how we have Native American people here in our country, in Australia, Aborigines people um, were there first, kind of the native people that were there. Um, and this is their artwork. And this is really cool because they call it x-ray art because it kind of looks like you can see the bones or you can see the inside of the people almost. So it's kind of a yeah. unique style of drawing, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Almost done, you guys. This one is from Spain. And I like Ooh. the one because the, the color is really pretty. Um, and you can really tell what that is, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't get the name of the animal in my head. This it, one looks to me like it's a bull. It looks like a It's a bull or a buffalo. Exactly. It looks to me like it could be a bull, but it looks like it also might be a buffalo, huh? But you buffalo. can see the buffalo horn. to buffalo. I've kind of I've actually Both. seen one of those in person, but far away, far nice. apart. Nice. They used to have so, that's it. Buffalo. <laughs> buffalo. You're missing this buffalo, dude. Buffalo. Oh. All right. It looks like a buffalo and also a um, I think you're right. I think buffalo may be a bull, but it looks very much like a buffalo. Um, and this one here also. I think that's a cow. This one, it looks like it could be a cow or it could be a bull. Yep, and then um, this one. So this one is really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> this this one here, this bull is the last one I want to show you. Um, so this bull, this is the last one I want to show you guys before we take some time to oh, yeah. 
This oh, one is ear. Whoops, hang on one second. Oh yeah, there's a book. So this one here also is a part of a cave that has a lot of drawings in it. Um, and it has so many. What? Who's copying us? Whoops. I don't know. <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, I'm actually not sure. Wait, are you off mute? There we go. Okay. So, there, I think we got everybody. Okay. So uh, in this cave, there are so many paintings and Just drawings. Just take my picture. What was that? So this, there's so many paintings and drawings in this cave. And one of them has a bowl like this. That's 17 feet long. That's like probably longer than your living room, probably put your living room and your kitchen together, something like that. That's how big the drawing is of one bowl. So these are really, really big paintings and big drawings that are in this cave. Um, and this cave, they're estimated that these paintings were made 17,000 years ago. Big giant bull, 17 feet long. All right, so these are what I wanted to show you. Let me go ahead and get out of our screen share here. So I wanted to show you guys those um, just because I think they're really interesting. And I think it's also interesting to think about how people were drawing and painting a really long time ago when they didn't have the same kind of tools and materials that we have access to. Um, and then it's also kind of fun if you feel like you're wanting to play with your color or with your tools and you want to be creative with how you're using things. You can also think about other ways that you can use materials or even if you don't have, maybe you want to paint something and you don't have paint. Maybe you can use some berries or maybe there's some uh, plants that you could use that you can use some of the color, some mud, something like that. So it's kind of interesting just to think about other ways that we can use materials that we have available. Whoa, Francesca, look at that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna open up the rest of our class for some drawing time. You can draw something that you saw. You can draw something that you saw, one of those cave paintings, something that was really interesting to you. If you wanna to try to draw it, sometimes if you see something like um, something that's really old or another painting or drawing that you see that you really like it for yourself, sometimes it helps not only for you to learn to draw, but also for you to really feel connected to that thing if you draw it. If you draw it, maybe you see like a really old pot or a really old bowl and you really like it, it's in your house or maybe your grandmother gave it to you and you take a second to draw it and it makes you really pay attention to the details of it. It's kind of a cool way to connect to things. Okay, so I'm gonna give you time to draw anything you saw or if you'd like to work on drawing people like we did last time, you can work on that too. And I'm gonna stay on and answer yeah. questions and let you show your artwork to me also. Um, so if there's anything you have questions about, you can unmute yourself and just ask me. I can do demos too. We'll do demos. Okay. Look, then I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here too. So if you guys want to look back at that, it's going to be on your teacher's website.